Hello, my name is Paul. This is my assistant TJ, and yes, we are both professional engineers. The purpose of this presentation is to educate engineers and the general public about cats. It is widely known that cats are attractive creatures that can provide many hours of entertainment. But it's not all just fun and games. Having cats in your home also entails a certain amount of responsibility, and depending on the number of cats you have, there might be some social implications. If you have one cat, you're just a guy who has a cat. This is Oscar. If you have two cats, well, the two cats are friends, so they can keep each other company. Ginger. When you have three cats and Zoe, you start to get to be that guy who has all those cats. Cats come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. Zoe measures 17 inches by 10 inches, which gives her an aspect ratio of 1.70 and a large internal volume. Oscar measures 19 inches by 8 inches for an aspect ratio of 2.38 that gives him less wind resistance and superior leaping capability. Ginger's compact size makes her easy to handle and also allows her to fit into tight parking spaces. The basic necessities that cats need are food and also water. Fortunately, like most engineers, cats are pretty much willing to eat the same thing, day after day after day. But since we all know variety is the spice of life, it is good to try something different from time to time. Good toast. For this reason, I occasionally offer my cats something that they seem to love even more than life itself. Tuna. Tuna is pretty much like cocaine for kitties. You know guys, the first step to solving the problem is admitting you have one. Besides eating, it is good for cats to have some sort of hobby or pastime. For example, Zoe is an accomplished marathon lounger and spends many hours each day in a rigorous lounge training schedule. Here she exhibits a traditional feline slumber position, and with this anchor technique, she makes clever use of the Earth's gravitational field to keep herself firmly attached to the floor of my living room. Ginger likes dancing, including classical tap and ballet, but she also likes to get down with the more modern type of club dancing. Meow, 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 meow. Shake that booty, yeah. Oscar's hobby is feline art, with his favorite genres being postmodern cardboard deconstruction, floral arrangement regurgitation, and rotational forms of performance art, which also helps with regurgitation. Oscar and Ginger will sometimes combine their efforts, as with this collaborative, low-energy cardboard performance art, and Zoe will often provide feedback as an art critic. Her brutal honesty also gives Oscar the opportunity to practice his martial arts skills. Another activity that cats and humans can enjoy together is something called the I'm not paying any attention to you game, which can last for hours. Here's Ginger and TJ going head to head trying to not pay attention to each other. TJ is making good use of his opposable thumbs to try to distract Ginger using the Dead Bird Simulator cat toy. This annoys Ginger and she boycotts the game. Young male engineers will be familiar with this game as they often use the same technique to attract the attention of ladies. Notice TJ using the same characteristic sideways glance and a similar level of annoyance on the part of his opponent. No, no, no. Next, we must address a difficult topic, disciplining your cats for bad behavior. Any unwanted behavior should be dealt with in a kind and loving manner. For this reason, I use a method called corporal cuddling. <coughs> While this may appear cruel and unusual, or perhaps just a bit weird, it really does not harm the cat, yet is still sufficiently annoying. A similar technique is used for a new form of artistic expression, cat yodeling.
Finally, we would like to address the role of cats in the 21st century. In this day and age of global warming and the need for renewable forms of energy, it is our belief that cats can provide a practical benefit with their natural static electricity characteristics. TJ and I have been experimenting with methods for tapping into this natural source of power by combining cats, balloons, carpeting, rechargeable AA batteries, and duct tape. We've tried different variations by matching larger volume balloons to Zoe and more slender balloons to Oscar, but so far our testing is inconclusive. Several details that still need to be resolved include cat motivation problems and a potential incompatibility between cat claws and balloons. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation, and with an increased understanding of cats, perhaps you will consider bringing one into your life if you've not done so already. Indeed, cats are wonderful animals that will provide many years of companionship and love, even if you are a regular person and not an engineer. Thank you.